Ahoy! Once a pirate's drink, now a global commodity, rum has a fascinating history. This enticing elixir born in the Caribbean has voyaged across the globe, leaving a lasting impact on cultures far and wide. Let's embark on a journey back through the centuries. The origins of rum are as murky as the depths of the Caribbean Sea, but it's widely believed that the first distillations of rum took place on the sugarcane plantations of the West Indies in the 17th century. It was here that plantation slaves discovered that molasses, a byproduct of the sugar refining process, could be fermented into alcohol. Initially considered a poor man's drink, rum was the chosen beverage of seafaring rogues and buccaneers. Pirates were particularly fond of rum, hoisting barrels of the spirit aboard their ships, and this is where our tale of rum as a pirate's drink begins. It was a hearty drink for hearty men, and it quickly became a staple of the maritime world. As time sailed on, rum began to shed its rough and ready image. It journeyed across the Atlantic, finding favor in the royal courts of Europe, and across the Pacific, where it was embraced by the New World colonists. Rum was no longer just a pirate's drink, it was becoming a sophisticated spirit, sipped and savored by all. Today, rum is a global commodity, enjoyed in every corner of the world. It's the star of tropical cocktails, the soul of warm winter toddies, and a favorite neat pour for those who appreciate its rich and varied flavors. Rum is as diverse as the countries that produce it, from light and crisp white rums to dark and complex aged rums. It's not just the taste that has evolved, rum has also influenced global trade, naval history and even sparked revolutions. It's a spirit that has transcended its humble beginnings and become a symbol of resilience, adaptation and cultural exchange. From pirate ship to your lips, rum's voyage is indeed a tale worth telling. Our journey begins with a humble stalk of sugarcane. This unassuming plant, with its long green leaves and sturdy stalk, holds the secret to the world's most beloved spirit, rum. The life cycle of sugarcane is a marvel in itself. From planting to harvesting, it's a journey that spans a year, influenced by environmental factors such as rainfall, temperature and soil quality. Once matured, the sugarcane is harvested, either by traditional hand cutting or modern mechanical methods. The harvested cane is then crushed and the juice extracted. This juice, filled with natural sugars, is the raw material for our rum. But we're not there yet. The sugarcane juice undergoes a boiling process, evaporating the water content and concentrating the sugars. The result? A sweet sticky syrup, packed with the potential for deliciousness. It's this syrup that lays the foundation for the transformation that's about to occur. From this sweet syrup, a spirited transformation begins. Next, we enter the magical world of fermentation. This natural process is where the transformation truly begins. It all starts with yeast, a microscopic organism with a mighty power. When introduced to the sugary syrup derived from sugarcane, yeast gets to work, feasting on the sugars and converting them into alcohol and carbon dioxide. This is the heart of fermentation. Now, it's not just any yeast that can perform this feat. Different yeast strains can influence the flavor of the rum, adding another layer of complexity to the spirit. Some yeasts are selected for their speed, others for the particular flavors they impart. From fruity to spicy, yeasty to clean, the choice of yeast can dramatically shape the character of the rum. This magical process of fermentation doesn't just transform sugar into alcohol, it sets the stage for the flavors that make each rum unique. With fermentation, our sweet syrup takes its first step towards becoming rum. Now we distill our fermented brew into a spirit, the magic of distillation lies in its ability to purify and concentrate the alcohol created during fermentation. This process is no less than an art form, a dance of heat and condensation, where the volatile components of the brew are separated based on their boiling points. The heart of distillation is the still. There are two main types, copper pot stills and column stills. Each has its own unique characteristics and the spirits they produce have distinct personalities. Copper pot stills, the traditional choice, create a full-bodied and flavorful spirit, retaining more of the original character of the sugar cane. Column stills, on the other hand, can achieve a higher level of purification resulting in a lighter, smoother spirit. It's in the heart of the still where our rum begins to take form, where it starts to express its character. Through distillation we capture the very essence of rum. With time, our rum matures into a refined spirit. This transformation is a dance between chemistry and patience, a process known as aging. This is when the rum, now distilled, is stored in oak barrels. The magic begins as the spirit interacts with the wood, absorbing its flavors and colors. 
This interaction elevates the rum, enhancing its profile with notes of vanilla, caramel and spices. The type of barrel used also plays a significant role. Some distilleries use former bourbon or sherry casks, each imparting unique nuances to the rum. But it's not just the barrels that matter. The conditions of the aging warehouses, whether they are located in humid tropics or dry cool climates, significantly affect the rum's maturation process. In the end all this time and attention to detail pay off. Patience rewards us with a rum that is rich in character. A rum that like a well-told story, has aged to perfection. Finally we blend and bottle our rum for your enjoyment. The art of blending is a careful dance of balance and harmony, as different rums, each with their own unique flavor profiles are mixed together. This process, in the hands of a skilled master blender, creates a final product that is more than the sum of its parts. Each blend is a symphony of flavors, a melody of sweet, spicy and smooth notes that sing in perfect harmony. Now let's move to the bottling line. This is where the magic of the blend is captured in glass. A ballet of precision and care unfolds as each bottle is filled, corked, labeled, and sealed. This phase is as important as any other in the rum-making process. It ensures that every bottle that leaves the distillery is nothing short of perfect. From sugarcane to spirit, every bottle of rum is a testament to the craftsmanship of rum-making. If you liked the video, please consider to like and subscribe.